at HDB, we're working with East of Scotland growers to come up with new approaches to solving problems and novel techniques in terms of technology and research. They have a really comprehensive research and development programme looking at trials and business improvement. East of Scotland growers came to HDB and asked us if there's things that we can work on and find solutions for the whole industry. James Rome, uh, agronomist here at East of Scotland Growers, based in Fife, predominantly all brassicas. The biggest thing we're really working uh, with HDB was to try and get trials up here in Scotland where you know our growers can actually see the benefits, see the results. The other part of working with HDB is the brassica network. My role in this, this work here in Scotland is to run and manage the trials. And so in Brassicas there's two other strategic centres of which this is one of three. The other one I run is in Lincolnshire and then in Cornwall Bill Herring of Dushy College runs trials down there for the Cornish Brassica growers. On site here we've got two trials on biostimulants um, so that's been 11 different products trialled over swedes and broccoli and then we've got downy mildew on broccoli and cauliflower specifically looking at systemic downy mildew, which is an issue for growers up here, because of the way they process the crops. And then we also had a suite of herbicide trials where we wanted to take forward the sort of three promising products coming out of the HDB Set Plus program and see how they were over crops which are more commonly grown up here. We decided in these trials to use drone footage in particular that measures spectral reflectance from the crop, so we could look at NDVI and biomass and then quantify if there are any differences at all in the, particularly the biostimulant trials. The HDB regional programmes which are grower led allow us to look at issues which could be only um, aligned with the regional climate. So this allows us here to look at downy mildew which is, is, is associated with the area. Uh, this is just an example of the systemic mildew that we, we get and is an, a growing problem. As you can see it's that sort of grey graying um, up the stalk quite a lot of what we do is prepared broccoli and it's not quite as obvious there but you can see the grey veining up the side of the stem. The systemic downy mildew is a growing concern in brassicas um, and particularly here in Scotland. So there's a range of fungicides being trialled to minimise its impact. We've used a couple of standard fungicide programmes you're comparing Revis and Amistar, which are the two. Revis was authorised last year under EMU um, recently and comparing those two particular conventional programmes plus there's one with a biological approach in it. It creates blemishes on the leaves of the broccoli and the cauliflower. When they're sort of infected they sporulate. At the moment it's been quite dry so they're not sporulating as much but you'll get this white which is where the work comes with downy fluff or down the mildew on the underside um, which creates the spores and then further reinfects. This can then become systemic and once it's into the cauliflower broccoli heads it creates grey streaking which when you go to especially when you're floretting it which the Scottish growers do then makes that product unsaleable. Well I suppose ultimately the aim of this year's trials, as it stands, it's a two-year trial. So the, the big, we focused on biostimulants this year. I do think that they have an increasing role within our, our growing operation and growing programmes. So done all the weighing, looking at the vigour, um, and again, I'm up this time to do the Swede biostimulant trials. So I had a suite of herbicide trials where I wanted to take forward the sort of three promising products coming out of the HDB Sector Plus programme and see how they were over crops which are more commonly grown up here. The crop was planted back at the end of May. The herbicide trials were the first ones to start um, with the first applications going on early June, so within a week of planting. So what we did, we took three products through which were some of the closest to approval and the most promising and tried them over the different crops. Um, and there's one, it's a coded product at the moment, 9875. Um, but from what we've seen here, it improves the control of fat hen. It was one of the best performing products across all the crops and looks reasonably safe on the crops in this, in this particular trials here. It's the first time we've seen it on Brussels sprouts, pointed cabbage and broccoli. So we'd like to do it again just to make sure there's no, no further detrimental effects to these crops. Because we've had some adverse effects on the Brussels sprouts um, where they've bolted and flowered 
But this is useful information for the chemical companies if they do decide to authorise these products, um, what the reactions are in the different brassicas. They're hugely valuable long term, both uh, whether it's varietals, whether it's uh, pesticide, whether it's density, whether all our trials bring a good value to our grower membership um, and provides a central place where our, all our growers as a co-op can benefit. So this is just one year of this and we would like to do it again but I think there's some good significant results out of the trials this year. Mm -hmm.